Now I've typed the code in and I'm continuing on uh, with the next part of our video. And the OEM code I can't show you because um, it's against Microsoft policy to be basically showing you the code. And uh, it's my code so I don't want to be giving it to somebody else. Um, you can easily purchase a genuine copy of the software. Or if you have a genuine copy, let's continue on. Either way. Um, name and company. I put in whatever you like. I usually just stick it in value. Uh, yes, and again, let it detect all that. There's no point in you trying to figure out what's what. Let it do it for you, you know. Cannot read it. I'll let tuck the disc out and that's what happened there. Um, we have both. We have a network adapter, as I said, we have the adapt the that works after we have the 3 cone and the sound card we have is the uh, AWB32 from Creative Labs. Which is quite good. So it's a lovely bit of hardware. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and get a network cable out the back of the other machine. There we are, that's plugged in. It's alive! And um, what else have I got here that I can show you while we're waiting? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It wasn't really, most of it's not that interesting. Um, so something you should never do to a computer is uh, take out its hard drive and then take it apart. If you've got a faulty hard drive, get it repaired. Well, what you can try is actually take out the board on the back of it. A lot of times the board on the back gets faulty, so if you just change the board on the back, you might find that your beloved data isn't deleted. Don't do this to a hard drive. This is me taking off the actual cover. There you are now, you can see yourself. So this hard drive is kaput. But you could take the board off some of these drives, oh, pieces fell out of it. You could take the, the actual um, board off this drive and maybe put it to another one. Um, the board is, could very well be okay in this drive, and the drive itself could be knackered. Ah, here we go. Back to what we're here for. So what we have here uh, are all the standards you may, you may recognise. Accessibility options, accessories. Let's go in here and have a look what we have. Yeah, let's put everything on. Desktop management, yeah, we've got the wallpaper. Of course we want the games, what for the document templates, yeah, give us briefcases as well, why not? Let's have the whole lot, let's have the whole shebang. Those pointers, oh yeah, Netwatch, oh yeah, oh yeah, online user, oh yeah, quick view, oh yeah. Screen savers, take them all off, put them all on. System monitor, resource, yeah, with a 95 tour, yeah, oh yeah, give us it all. Communications, if you want them, oh yeah, yeah, you want that, and the network, oh god, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, give me everything. You need any backup. Backup's handy. Uh, fax multimedia. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, it's on ticket and ticket again. Should give you everything. Is it? Yeah, got everything. Yeah, we'll have that. Yep, we'll have that. Yep. Take it off. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get everything. Yep. Give yourself everything. Put everything on. Um, I felt as well the machine works a lot better when you actually stick everything on to begin with, you know. Now, this is where we're going to come back. We don't need that. That is an old technology, not needed anymore. Remove it. Uh, you don't need NetWi anymore either. It's long gone. What I do recommend you add, add to it is the Microsoft TCP IP, okay? That's what everything runs on now, the whole network will run on that. Leave the other one on just in case the IPX and XPX, but uh, you shouldn't need it, even with an old machine like this. Um, you shouldn't actually need the protocol, you should run fine without it, you know. We'll remove it, we'll see what happens. You can always add it later on. That's really what you need. Uh, you can leave that there if you want, it doesn't really matter. That's your dub adapter, which we don't have installed. This is the card itself that we're going to be using for our network. And what you only really need is TCP IP. 
at this stage that will work fine on this machine. Um, I've even run it on the older machines like the old um, Windows 311 for work cruise machines that I have in the attic. That sounds like something out of dollhouse. Okay, and so, right, uh, let's give this machine a name. I'm going to call this the, the Dell 486. I do recommend you give it a fairly unique uh, name. Leave it as work group. My work group is called work group, so I'm going to leave it at that. Computer description is a, a 486 forward slash DX. That mightn't work actually. 486. They're called wildcards. DX 66. That might or might not work. These are wildcards. Yes, let me do that. Right, the graphics card is the ATI, that's correct, the keyboard is correct, the layout is wrong. Make sure you change that if you're not in the United States to the UK or wherever you're from. The reason being is if you leave it uh, as an American keyboard when you're based in Ireland or the UK, the problem is that it, it, it won't be correct. Um, but what I mean by not correct is the at symbol will be in the wrong place and a few other bits. Um, one of the nice little thing here is the user interface with Windows 95 is Windows 95. You can actually change that and make it the 3.1 program manager, which is quite interesting. Um, that was eliminated later on and more uh, up-to-date versions of Windows 95, but it was still around now. So it was a great way, unlike Windows 8 for example, you can't swatch, switch between the old system and the new system you know, until you get used to it. Windows 8 is a fantastic operating system if you have a touch screen. But if you haven't got a touch screen, it's like, huh? No use. Waste of time. So that's everything there. European languages, standard PC. Um, some interesting things in here actually. I just want to show you something. There you are, look at the top one. <laughs> oh yeah. ASD Premium 3625 and 3633 Cupid. Um, that I always find, you know, highly amusing. That was my first machine was the uh, ASD Premium 386-16 actually, um, which I later upgraded to a 25 and then I later basically put in the attic. Um, okay, so we're just going to say cancel to that, it isn't that standard PC. Um, that's what most of you do. This is an opportunity here to make a startup disk if you haven't got one. Uh, don't worry about it, if you haven't got one you can make one later on. So now I'm going to copy the files over. I'll let this run, sure, why not? May I like to watch this install. There's something else that you can run on this computer. Dell Diagnostics Disk. You can still get this on their website. This is going to take a few minutes to install. I recommend we stop the video here and come back to it. I don't think you want to see this for the next half an hour. So in uh, nine minutes we come back and we'll come back to it.